Dudes and foxy dudettes, welcome back to The Well-Rounded Dude. My name is Chris. Today, we're going to be talking all about leather jackets. Day has finally come. One of my favorite topics. So if you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we cover topics handling men's grooming, lifestyle, a little bit of everything from ball powder all the way up to leather jackets like we're going to talk about today. So please, drop us a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload a video. So why should you own a leather jacket? Well, it's fall, tis the season. If you guys noticed, I recently dropped a video about five fall essentials that every guy should have. One of the things I left out were leather jackets, my personal favorite item. Why did I do that? Because I was planning this video to talk all about them. They are a style staple for men, definitely in the fall, but in the winter time too. And there's a bunch of different styles you can choose from. There's, there's this kind, which is a leather top coat, or the leather blazer behind me, which we'll talk about the different styles in a minute. The leather jacket is a classic menswear piece that every dude should have at least one in his closet. You think about it, it's been around since the 50s. James Dean made it cool all the way up into the 2000s. Wesley Snipes made it cool with Blade. So whatever your choice may be, black, brown, maybe you want to go with suede, you should have one leather jacket in your arsenal. So that brings us to the types of leather. And there's a few different kinds. My personal choice, you get the most bang for your buck with genuine leather. Now some people will disagree, but it's a fine line between very cheap leather and very expensive leather. Genuine leather will probably fall in between there. So there's a few different types of animals that they mainly make leather products out of. Cowhide, sheepskin, lambskin, and there's several different grades of leather. Bonded leather, which is kind of like leather particle board, is how I describe it. It's pieces of leather that they cut up and glue together and put it on a sheet. It's not bad. It's still leather, but it's not a whole skin. Then there's full grain leather, there's top grain leather, and there's genuine leather. Genuine leather is where I think most people could live at. That, that's kind of like the sweet spot of leather in my personal opinion. So as I mentioned before, I mainly go genuine leather, but there are some exceptions, like my blazer. I've talked to you guys about my leather blazer before. This is a lambskin blazer, very soft, very supple. Uh, this is what I go for like a, a dressy casual look. So notice I said dressy casual, not dressed up. It's kind of out of style to wear this on a date now, but just hanging out, going shopping or whatever. Yeah, I'll rock this. Okay, dude, so another type of leather that usually comes up, it's not really leather, is faux leather, PU leather polyurethane leather, all the same thing. A lot of people I know have, have thought that that's a good cost-effective way to get the look and the style. And that's good if you're vegan, totally. If you don't want to rock with a, a, an animal skin coat, <laughs> for lack of better terms, that's fine. That's your choice. The problem with, with PU leather is if you get a bad quality one, which most of them are, they start to peel. Like this. This is what you're going to have 99% of the time. Now there are a few times that that doesn't happen, but most of the time this is what you're going to get with a polyurethane or faux leather or PU leather jacket it's going to peel and they're really not that much cheaper than a leather jacket most of the time whereas you know you can probably pick up one of these for like a hundred bucks I mean it's not a bad coat it looks pretty cool it's a great great style nothing wrong with it pretty cool hood but you can probably pick one up for like roughly a hundred bucks, 
but it's going to start to peel in, in a short amount of time. Whereas you can add, you know, another 50, maybe another 100 bucks, and you can pick up a real leather jacket in the same style. So dudes, in my personal opinion, the best bang for your buck, go real leather. Go genuine, go whatever you can afford. It'll last you years as long as you take care of it. So that leads us to where do you get a good quality leather jacket? My advice, check your department stores, your Macy's, your Lord and Taylor's if they're still open when you watch this. My personal choice, Wilson's Leather. Unfortunately, most of them are closing. Their brick and mortars are closing. One love, a moment of silence. Okay. But they're staying online only now. So check out their website and be sure to pick up a good quality leather jacket. The other option is Poshmark. For those of you that are not familiar with Poshmark, Poshmark is an online boutique where you can buy used clothing. And you can get leather jackets for a song and a dance, literally. Good quality leather jackets already broken in for like 30 bucks, 50 bucks, 60. Depends on where you go, who you're shopping with, and you can negotiate with them and get a cheaper price. Also to check out your thrift stores. Thrift stores be slept on. You definitely want to check out thrift stores for leather. You can get already get broken in leather jackets Again, for a song and a dance, for sometimes 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. But do be sure to check them out because sometimes they'll try to pass like a scratch or a ding or a hole. Just pay attention before you pick something up from Goodwill. So dudes, that brings us to popular leather jacket styles. Well, there's the classic motorcycle jacket. There's also the popular bomber jacket style. And then you have this style that's pretty popular. The moto style or some people call it a biker jacket. I prefer to call it a moto jacket. All right, dudes, so how do you plan an outfit with some of these popular leather jacket styles? Well, rocking with just a t-shirt and this moto jacket, or, or you can rock the top coat with it. One of my favorite styles that personally I think is slept on is the leather top coat. Believe me, guys, there's nothing cooler than a leather top coat. Definitely check it out. So what if the t-shirt isn't dressy enough? You want to take it up just a little bit of a notch? Well, you can do that too with this leather top coat. Absolutely. Another dressy casual example. One last thing I want to mention, dudes, is just like with all your other clothes, fit is king. So yeah, I had alterations done to this jacket. I had the sleeve shortened. Now for that, they had to take the sleeves off of the jacket since it's got functioning buttonholes and shorten it from up here. That costs a little bit more, but it's definitely worth it if you want a very nice tailored fit. So that's going to do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, down in the comments, let me know what you thought. Any other tips, any other things that you want to mention about the video, please be sure. All comments are welcome. Also, too, I'm curious if anybody can count correctly how many different leather jackets did I wear in this video and how many appeared behind me. So please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely throw us a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe on this video. Please check us out on thewellroundeddude.com. Check out our merch page. Dude10 gets you 10% off of your purchase. All right, guys, we'll catch you in the next one.